What is the best way to find the square of 53? Is it by multiplying 53 with 53 traditionally? Or is it by using the base technique we had seen previously? Guess what? There's a quicker way to find the square of numbers that are close to 50. First, we simply subtract 50 from that number. So we have 53 minus 50. The difference is 3. After we find the difference, we make a partition. On the left, we just add this difference to 25. So we write 25 plus 3 on the left. If the number is close to 50, this number here will always be 25. On the right, we square the difference. It will be 3 squared. And what about the number of digits on the right? In this method, we will always have 2 digits on the right. 25 plus 3 is 28 and 3 squared is 9. But as we need to have 2 digits on the right, we write 9 as 0, 9. 53 squared is 2809. That computation was at warp speed. Difference of the number and 50, sum of 25 and the difference on the left, and square of the difference on the right. Just 3 steps and we have our answer. Should we try another one quickly? Why not? Remember, we are looking at squaring numbers close to 50. So let's try 48 squared. The first step was to subtract 50 from the number. That will be 48 minus 50. It will equal minus 2. Once this is done, we make a partition. On the left, we add 25 with this difference. That will equal 25 minus 2. And on the right, we square the difference. It will be minus 2 squared on the right. And in this method, we will always have 2 digits on the right. 25 minus 2 is 23 and minus 2 squared is 4 which will be written as 0, 4. Find the difference, add that difference with 25 and square that difference. This method kind of works with numbers that lie between 30 and 70 but works best when the numbers are very close to 50. But do you know the logic behind this technique? Let's understand it. Any number which is close to 50 can be written as 50 plus x where x can take a positive or a negative value. And we are squaring this number. We know the identity a plus b the whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Here 50 squared will be 2500. 2 times 50 times x will equal 100x. And squaring x will give us x squared. Now if you look at the first two terms, you will see that 100 is common to both of them. So we take the common term 100 out and we will have 25 plus x in brackets. 100 times 25 is 2500 and 100 times x is 100x. And we add x squared to it. How do we interpret this product? The answer will be something like 25 plus x 0 0. And to this we are adding x squared and x is nothing but the difference. If we want to find 52 squared, x will be 2. So we will have 2700 on top and 2 squared under it. This will give us 2704 as the answer. Does that explain the logic of partition? 2 is the difference here. We are adding 25 to the difference. We are squaring the difference on the right and we will have 2 digits on the right because of these two zeros here. So. That's the logic behind this shortcut for squaring numbers that are close to 50.